Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm going to bring up a scenario showing a little bit of Epic Games history with integrating third party graphical solutions. As we stated in our studio documentary, Epic has no experience making realistic games. But in 2019, Ben Studio released Days Gone as one of the first, if not the first PS4 exclusive game to utilize Unreal Engine instead of a proprietary engine. The graphics produced in this game easily stand up against 9th generation's graphics. But this is because the developers created their own, optimized techniques outside of what Epic Games provided in Unreal. This technique was screen space shadows. This allowed them to display tons of micro detail on relatively flat geometry. See, traditional shadows re-render and redraw entire digital scenes from world light perspectives through a depth buffer called a shadow map. Sometimes floors, small objects, and very high poly meshes can be excluded from the shadow map drawing to save massive performance at the cost of plausible detail. But screen space information can be faster to use since objects are already rendered inside geometry buffers. These keep information like scene depth and world normal, which represents the XYZ direction a pixel is supposed to be facing. That's why the developers included pre-computed depth information in the materials, so the final depth buffer could take a performance shortcut in rendering this detail, since texture manipulation is easier than rendering this, has high poly geometry. This is a perfect example of pre-computing what you can for players without sacrificing dynamic light interaction. Ben Studios released their Unreal implementation code, and Epic has integrated with Unreal since because it was too good to be ignored performance-wise. But unfortunately, baking depth information is not a polished workflow in Unreal, and the screen space shadow shader relies on temporal smearing to hide unneeded jittering artifacts. But other implementations show that we should be able to convert this aspect in Unreal to a TA-independent version. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth optimization documentation. And be sure to check out our studio documentary exposing fake optimization in modern games. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.